Okay, so today we're going to look at Tinkerplay. This is the free app by Autodesk. Autodesk make a whole bunch of really cool apps. So I'm just going to show you this one when it loads up. I'm using my iPad at the moment, but you can get it on iPad or iPhone. Uh, this is the first time I'm using it. Now, again, the good thing with Thinkerplay is that they know uh, it's going to be used by kids, so they want to uh, know a few things. So I'll just put in... And here you go. So you're greeted with a bunch of characters in the bottom that are kind of like your, your themes for your character. Or you've got this blank guy here that you can go. And whenever you hit the plus button, it'll create a new guy. The bin will obviously throw it out. And the two robots there are duplicate. So you can make a copy of the one that you've got. So I'm going to tap on this guy here. All right. And now you can see you've got your robot. So it's kind of like a pre-built little skeleton that's ready to go. You can see I can tilt his arms. I can move his head. If I bend and lift his arm up. It's kind of got that kinesthetic stuff, so it'll actually move like it's rigged. Um, we can move his legs around here. I can pop his head off, uh, which is fun. I can pop his arms off, so you get a bit of a pull, and they come off. So it kind of is like Lego, and if you put it near near the head, you'll see this kind of like zaps. That means it'll snap back into place there, and we can move it around, and we can zoom in by pinching. So I'm zooming in. I can look at my head there. I can zoom into any one of these body parts. There you go. If I double tap, it allows me to rotate so I should just zoom out a little bit so I'll double tap and I can rotate Whoops, double tap and I can rotate that guy around all right so you can see up here these are all your parts so you start off at the very top level there's your robot then from here you can pick your style of robot okay if you want to or you can just stick with this kind of default guy then if you tap on that there's all your head options so you can't actually create um, shapes as yet but I wouldn't be surprised if that's come kind of comes a little bit later where you can actually start to design your own shapes here so there's our bodies there's our torsos our arms and legs and our hands and feet so you can pick these so let's say I want those those feet I can just basically plonk them here and they're sitting on my stage which again I can kind of spin that around so if I want to move my guy up I'm just going to pinch out zoom back in I'm going to pop that foot off pulling it off grab this foot and snapping it on there so now we've got my new foot so if I just kind of rotate that stage around you can see there all right if you tap in the bottom right down here this will change your color options so first we've got our color wheel so if I want to tap on that I can pick all my colors here all right I, don't know, I might actually make that a lovely yellow so you pick your color and then you tap on your shape for your color this one here will change your texture so if I zoom in on this body here and move up a bit and I say pick that metal texture if I just kind of start painting with my finger there it is there, okay. Or if I change that, double tap, he's now got that texture there. And finally, this one here is your actual uh, deformation on the skin. So if I rub my finger on there, and you can see you've got a whole bunch of different options here. So I can change those. By tapping on different parts of the body, I can change the way it looks, the way it feels, and that'll be the way, ultimately, that it's printed out as well. It'll be printed with this kind of 3D shape there. You can see a whole bunch of those options there. All right, let's move back. So I'm going to pinch back out from here. Wow, it looks like he's got the plague uh, on the bottom left. All right, you can change the background that this guy's in. So he's in this kind of 3D, spacey kind of background. Now he's in space. There we go there. And then you can change individual elements of that background as well. It's kind of really there for those that want to kind of create their character and pose him in a really cool shape like you would pose your action figures on your desk and then you know you have that image that you could print out uh, and send to your camera roll as well. So I'm just going to go back to stand inside and just kind of my working space there. And finally the top left up there will send you back to your um, your homepage. So you can see there's my guy there. If I tap him anytime I can go back in and keep working on him. But the cool part is, which I was playing with before, if I tap this little one down bottom of the screen here, this is your printing uh, section. So what you can see is there's all the shapes that are in your guy. And if we kind of have a look down here, you can see it's got it on three separate, uh, I guess you could say bits of uh, card. Because when you go to print this, because they're different colors, they'll want to print in different colors. Or you can stack them together and print them on one. So it depends on what kind of 3D printer you're using. A lot of 3D printers can only print with one color. So that's why you'll need those three separate files. Um, some 3D printers now can print uh, multiple colors at once. So you can put it on one. You can increase the size of your robot. So you can see every time I do that, the timer is going up and the weight is also going up. So I can bring that down a little bit and that'll come into how much this thing costs because when you 3D print things, uh, the, the length that it takes to print it and the, the amount of material it uses is what really dictates the price. So you can change this guy as big as you want. 
and in our configuration here, we can see where we can outload this guy. So we've got a printer of a MakerBot, which is probably the most popular ones, uh, and where you output it. So finally, uh, output it, sorry, if I tap on that guy there, there is my download. So what it'll do is it's automatically kind of uploaded this model to this website. If you type in that address, you'll actually download the 3D printing files and you can send them off and get it printed. And that's about it. So we'll go back to our little guy here. I'm going to go back all the way back and I'm going to choose one of these cool pre-built ones. And there we go there. So you can see there's our new robot now. Just his base ready to go. And there's all the parts just to make this one little guy. So we can kind of plonk that in there. Plonk this in here and we can start to build this one guy if we want to. Alright, let's head back. And that's it. So yeah, cool little uh, kind of Lego kit for kids where you can create your own toys, uh, customize them, put them together. So you can use this for a whole bunch of uh, learning areas, you know, science, uh, the arts, obviously, technologies. It's a whole bunch of things that you can play in here, but it's really, really creative. Uh, and it's, uh, it's kind of awesome. And that's it.